Hello everybody and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, um, you guys saw me set up this whole thing in the last video. Um, so you don't need me to show you how to set up your FMC um, on how to do all that nonsense. And if you're running Microsoft Flight Simulator, you probably already know that by now. Um, I'm actually going to tune in for IFO clearance for instrument F. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray tree 20 is clear to Orlando Airport as filed. Take off runway 26 climb and maintain 9,000 feet. So Departure nine, frequency is one tree two decimal seven nine thousand walk zero one four seven. Read back. Airbus tree two zero read back correct. Contact ground on one two one decimal niner. Good day. Now they want me to contact ground, so I contact ground. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted Jackson to do. Airport information. Turn ground. I guess it wants me to taxi. Because I request Sierra, that. Two, I've already. Taxi, two, and hold short of runway I'm already on runway 26. Contact tower on 118 decimal tree when ready. Acknowledge taxi clearance. Request takeoff. Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray. Okay. Zero altimeter, Great. Zero. Yeah. Clear for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff runway two six. Okay. Good. 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 Probably want those on. <laughs> All right. Now it's takeoff clearance. And in a three. Two, one, we are going. According to the SRS, we should be in S and CLB. Um, there is some crosswind that I'm feeling affecting the plane. I'm going to try to trim that out. That trim it out a little bit. That did. Okay, good. A little bit. All right, pull up. Come on, there you go. We are in the air. Uh, this is why I like to be in, t in that and not follow what the SRS says. Go ahead and activate our autopilot and get everything going here. Get us in CLB. Everything's good. I'm golden. Okay, acknowledge the handoff. Tune in. Contact. Fox 6 Niner Heavy Jacksonville. Departure altimeter tree zero decimal one seven. Continue as planned. Okay. I would like to have a cruising altitude uh, increase, please. Now I'd like to increase it by 10,000. Fox 6 Niner heavy climb and maintain 9,000 feet. Expect flight level 190. Okay. I'm also going to request that again because I want a... Fox 6 Niner heavy climb and maintain 9,000 feet. Expect flight level 290. Okay. And we're going to acknowledge that again. We're going to request again and 290. So we want this. Okay. Fox six there we go. Heavy climb and maintain nine thousand feet. Expect flight level So IRL, you would just request flight level whatever and they would step you up through it. Um, I like how I said IRL. A lot of people get agitated if I, when I do that. But Fox six niner heavy contact Jacksonville Center on one two six decimal seven five. Good day. Okay. Acknowledge. Tune in. Contact. Fox 6 Niner Heavy Jacksonville Center Altimeter Tree Zero Decimal 17 Continue as planned. 3 Decimal Zero One Seven. That means I'm higher up than I think I'm at. I am. There we go. Fox 6 Niner Heavy Contact Jacksonville Departure on One Tree. Oh wow, they're just seven, bouncing seven, me five. around here, aren't they? Good day. Lovely. Acknowledge the handoff. 
Tune in, departure, and contact the contact Jacksonville the departure. Contact Jacksonville, departure altimeter 30 decimal 17 continue as planned. Okay. Fox 6 Niner heavy climb and maintain flight level 190. Okay. Acknowledge the instruction. Go ahead and set our thing up to 190. There we go. Ah. Fox 6 Niner, heavy contact, Jacksonville Center on one two. Wow, they keep bouncing me back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Jesus. Hey, Jacksonville Center. Fox 6 Niner, heavy, Jacksonville Center, altimeter 30 decimal 17 continue as planned. Don't send me back to departure. They already bounced me. Six Niner, heavy contact, Jacksonville Center on one tree. Okay, good. Yeah, it's Jacksonville Center again. Instead of jet, instead of departure. All right, I'll contact this GPS first. Six Niner, heavy, I would love it if I if they didn't sound the same. It wouldn't have annoyed me as, as much. I think. Now we are doing it. Fine. According to our flight plan, we are doing A or K. I don't know what in the world just happened with that green flash. I didn't like it. Did you guys like it? I didn't. Um, let's go ahead. What speed are we going? Let's get that increased. I think. Um, let's actually turn into mock. We are gonna be kicking it. I believe that's as fast as we as we can go here. But Come on. What? Why does it keep knocking off? That doesn't... That's a little annoying to me, by the way. The, just saying, game. I switch it into actual normal utter throttle here. So we are still in utter throttle, just mind you. Just not CLV anymore. Maybe you'll let me set the speed. Nope. Great, lovely. There's no nothing that should be restricting me on that, so I don't know why in the world it's not letting me do it. That's right, it starts with an earthquake. Birds of snakes and they are blind. Here we're so afraid. I have the hurricane, listen to yourself. If I stick it in, it's in CLB now, but, and it's not like it's doing anything different. Auto CLB. Um, I was told to expect 370 as my flight level. I, I was told to expect a flight level of 370. Yes, there we go. Final. You complain about it enough and you will receive.
No, it recommends me putting it into CLB. I have spent some time alone. Anyway, look at the window. It's a beautiful night sky. I mean, one thing Microsoft Flight Simulator has down to a really good um, point is their graphics of the night sky. Um, don't mind that. That that doesn't exist. Nor does that black line. That black line doesn't exist either. It's just a figment of your imagination. See? Look, not there. Wait, no, it is there. That's weird. See, that one's gone now. See? Look, nothing there. No nothing there. Except that thing. Hmm. By the way, I... One thing I kept forgetting yesterday, to, I mean, in the last video to do, um, is switch this over into the actual ILS mode. Um, I kept it in the ARC, which is fine. Okay, I'll acknowledge, and I will descend to 15,000 feet. Apparently there's another aircraft coming in my direction. That's at my same altitude, or climbing to my same altitude. Now, unfortunately, the expedite button does not work. That yeah, kind of does suck, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, you're supposed to be at an idle throttle when you're in descent. By the way, the reason why this video did... Alright, I'll expedite my descent as fast as possible, buddy. I am expediting. I'm at 20,000. Oh, wow, I'm going down fast. into auto here, not into CLB, disengage, the speed brake, acknowledge, assigned approach, clear to tramp, uh, a type, did I assign a transition, destination, this, arrival, airways, yada yada yada, Transition. No transition. Are uh, we expected on... Uh, hang on. Expect Alice Runway 36. Right. That's not on my thing. I don't have an ILS Runway 36 right. Is that a... Uh, oh, it's on another page. Wait, is it? I don't think it is. Oh god. Why are you overspeed? Why are you overspeed? Auto throttle. There you go. Jesus. I'm trying to figure out what in the world's going on. Meanwhile, I'm getting this stuff. Uh, 
flight plan. Arrival. Can I do? Mm. So it's not letting me fix that information, nor can I. For some reason, what it wants me to do tra transition. I don't even know what. I guess three six would be up coming from the other direction, which is not on my flight plan. Let me look at the uh, map here. I do have 67 miles to prepare for this. It's not like it's a big deal. At least right now. So I will be doing that transition into runway 18, which is not appropriate. We should be Fox Six Niner, heavy please expedite your descent five thousand feet. Expedite to five thousand feet. Oh my god. I will work on. Can I get, okay, I want a different runway. I can't select a different runway. Select another approach. I want to go in on runway number 18 right. Last runway one eight right vectors to final approach. Request approach. Fox six nine or heavy, you are three nine or miles north. Descend and maintain six thousand feet. Expect vectors ILS runway one eight right approach. Circle to land runway three six right. Fox six nine or heavy Roger. Okay, I will acknowledge, but I don't want to land at I want to land ILS runway 18 right. It's that I don't think my computer six nine or heavy you are tree six miles north of Orlando. Maintain present heading and altitude. Contact Orlando Tower on 124 Decimal Tree. Knowledge, Orlando. Hey, Orlando Tower, I, I need Fox to... Uh, Niner, heavy Orlando Tower. Altimeter Tree, 0 Decimal, 161017 at Niner. Cleared ILS runway 18 right approach. Acknowledge entry pattern. I have one eight right as my uh, wait, hang on, that's my approach. What's my What is that's okay, arrival approach perch uh progress Directory. This is fun.
All right, let me go ahead and turn on the iOS display. It has not given me an iOS. I guess I'm not in range for the iOS yet. There we go, there's iOS. Let me go ahead and engage the LOC. LOC is active. Then it engage the approach. Maybe I should just go ahead and leave it on LFC right now. That's probably a good idea. Where? Oh, we are way far away from the airport, aren't we? That's uh, showing 10 miles. For 10 nautical miles. Yeah, we have a little bit of waste here. That's uh, first airport direction. Fox 6 Niner Heavy Airport is 12 o'clock, 21 miles. Okay, so it's right in front of us. Alright. We can now go ahead and engage the approach mode. And open up our flaps, slowly knocking them on one at a time. As we do engage them slowly. On to flaps two. can see is that the runway I have no idea to tell if you can see if that's the runway or not drop down again and we're going we are going good it says we are in vertical line Good. Since our approach is good. Now, here's the thing. This ILS is set up to land at runway 18. This is not set up to land at runway 36. And I, I, it wouldn't let me change it to land at runway 36. So, um... And they wouldn't let me change the runways for some odd reason. Normally they do. That means we're going to be landing at runway number 18 right, which is right in front of us. We are currently locked on target. And we are fully prepared to land at runway number 18 right. I had somehow forgot that I had um, the air brake air brakes enabled. Anyway, let's go. Well, for some reason, I left the nose light on. That's lovely. We'll turn that. Uh, we should just turn that off, yeah. We will need to turn on the runway turn light. Um, seatbelts have not been turned on this entire time. They probably should have. 
I mean, we haven't been doing a bumpy flight at all, but still. As we are doing a slow descent here to the airport, um, this actually was not a very long flight. I would do this flight in real life. Would you guys like to have me as a pilot in real life? Probably not, but you know, it is what it is, right? Totally. Now, those blue lights... Uh, I forgot what blue lights indicate. Oh my... Yep. Maybe that... No, that's not the airport, because that's the airport right up there. So I don't know what the blue lights are. Now look at all, all that stuff now. That is pretty cool. You can even see all the little cars and everything. All the little communities and stuff. Parking lots. I mean, that is pretty darn cool. And all of it is real online, real live data. So somebody is actually driving down that road at this time <laughs> which will be probably two days um, after that happens so that is the thing we are coming in to land at this runway that's current that's in front of us um, I'm gonna reset this rudder good that's probably why we were sort of kind of leaving sideways So if I look straight at the aircraft, I mean that's pretty spot on. I think it needs to go like a, our rudder control needs to go like a tad that way. That looks pretty on point, maybe one more tad. That looks pretty good to me. All right, deploy landing gear. We have not got clearance to land, so this makes me think air traffic control is done yelling us. Just an FYI, in case you're curious. Set this. The auto brake to low. 500. This is a really spot on landing that this aircraft is really is doing. You're preparing to retard. Three. By the way, that's the actual term. Two hundred. Okay. on the reverser Fox 69 heavy did you copy Yes I copy Contacting ground Request taxi to parking Fox 69 heavy taxi to general aviation parking via taxiway Yankee cross runway tree 6 right Bravo 6 Bravo 5 Acknowledge taxi clearance. Where in the world? Where are my little blue arrows? I need my little blue arrows. <laughs> I'm lost. 3 6 right. B6. B5. Bot. What? 
you want me to go all the way to the end or something? I, I don't know. No idea what that means. Anyway, no, I'm not very good at that, at that in this game. At all. But that was a really good landing. I will have to say that. That was a really good landing by the uh, by the system here. They did a very excellent job with the ILS. Um, if you do want to see more videos of me using the ILS to do a to do landings, um, let me know, and I will uh, on test out the ILS on more aircraft because I think it all is on a few other aircraft. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I haven't actually looked for the ILS on every on you know aircraft in. Uh, flight similar. I just know of the three aircraft, which is the Airbus A320, the Airbus A310, and the Boeing 747. Now, if you do want to see the Boeing 747 do an ILS run landing, um, leave a comment on the video, and I will do it. So, that will conclude today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell icon, and I will see you in the next one.